Chapter 86 Grand Unity Earth Immortal, Heavenly Immortal Manners Number 1 Prodigy Divine Beast Vermilion Bird, Hanju, came back to his senses. His first reaction was to think that the Vermilion Bird was crazy, IT couldn't control its own child. Why blame him if it died, the Judo had caused the deaths of countless lives along the way, however, the Vermilion Bird was too famous. Han Ju still cautiously checked his interpersonal relationships. The image of the vermilion bird was that of a bird, a perfect fit for Han Ju's imagination. Vermilion bird, mid-stage grand unity earth immortal realm, Khanate divine beast. It has a strong providence and is filled with hatred for you for killing its son. When you ascend, it will definitely seek revenge on you. Current hatred points, 5 stars, grand unity earth immortal. Gasp, Han Ju was shocked. It was so strong, he didn't know if there was a power difference between the Mahayana realm and the Grand Unity Earth Immortal realm. Regardless, they weren't existences Han Ju could fight against, but why would the Vermilion Bird only seek revenge after he ascended, could it be that it couldn't descend into the mortal world, very likely, perhaps this was an immortal rule, it seemed that if he wanted to ascend in the future, he had to at least be stronger than the Vermilion Bird. Otherwise, it would be very dangerous, Hanju thought as he silently took out the Book of Misfortune, he wondered if the book could curse a divine beast, Hanju cursed for a while but didn't suffer any backlash. It seemed to work, to, he decided that in the future, while cultivating, he would curse enlightened old monster and the vermilion bird, the next morning, Sun Chang'an returned to the Fusong tree in a daze, last night, he got drunk at the inn. The wine of the Jade Pure sect was unordinary. Cultivators could also get drunk after drinking it, this drunkenness caused Sun Chang'an to fall completely into the love tribulation, Han Ju came out of the cave abode and stopped in front of him, Sun Chang'an was in a trance and didn't notice his arrival, Han Ju frowned and couldn't help but recall Sun Chang'an's background, the ancient spiritual ginseng had reincarnated. In the previous life, it was nurtured by the Buddhists. Due to its fate with the demoness, it fell into a trap of love. The gods and Buddhas were furious and threw it into the mortal world to experience the tribulations of love, only by completely forgetting itself and severing emotions would it be able to escape the pain of reincarnation. This was the 39th life. Sun Chang'an was born into a cultivation family and was extremely talented. However, he was ugly and was not liked by Qian'er. After being rejected by her many times, he was heartbroken and ended up becoming a monk Han Ju used his divine sense to capture the scene of Sun Chang'an and Qian Er talking. That scene, he was basically a simp. No, that was a modern term on the internet. Here, it was called deep affection. One-sided deep affection, Han Ju didn't know how to persuade Sun Chang'an, this was a love tribulation. How could he persuade him with words, Han Ju called out, disciple. Sun Chang'an was stunned for a moment. When he saw him, he slowly got up and knelt in front of Han Ju. His emotions suddenly erupted and he cried, Master. I feel so bitter, for some reason, Han Ju thought of Zhu Beiji, one, the two had the same trait, they were both ugly, Han Ju sighed and said, Disciple, relationships between men and women are bitter. This is the reason why I have been in seclusion. But why, why would so many beauties come to you of their own accord? I only like one woman, but she, Sun Chang'an cried bitterly, halfway up the mountain, a sleeping black hell chicken rolled over, idiot, can't you cultivate properly, it harumphed. After eating the judo, it could clearly feel its bloodline transforming. Excited, it felt that it would become very strong, IT even began to look forward to the chaotic heavenly dog's return to challenge it, doggy, I'll let you know how powerful your father is, on the other side, Faced with Sun Chang'an's question, Han Ju said calmly, it's only because I'm powerful. In this world, the strong are respected. If your cultivation is the best in the world, how can that woman not fall in love with you? Your cultivation is average and you don't look good. What does she want from you? Your sincerity, sincerity is the most worthless thing in the world, cultivate the heartless flying sword I taught you. This technique can help you become the number one in the world. Hearing this, Sun Chang'an looked up. His face that was covered in snot and tears became even uglier. 
Hanju almost turned his head away in disgust. He suddenly understood Chien'er. However, all of this was the fault of the gods and Buddhas. They deliberately made Sun Chang'an look so ugly. Hanju had tried to change Sun Chang'an's appearance, but he quickly recovered his ugly face. It was very strange. Sun Chang'an's eyes widened. Really? Why would I lie to you? If someone else said this, Sun Chang'an would definitely not believe them. But since it was Han Ju, he believed him. Currently, Han Ju was indeed the strongest existence he knew. Thinking of Xing Hongxuan's attitude towards Han Ju, Sun Chang'an was immediately ignited, heartless flying sword. I must cultivate it until the end, Han Ju didn't say much. Some words were meaningless, what he said was not entirely true, humans were very contradictory existences. When they were weak, they would look down on sincerity and only want to become stronger. But when they were strong, they would pursue sincerity, Han Ju went down the mountain to find the black hell chicken. After confirming that it was fine, he returned to the Khanate cave abode. After being hated by the vermilion bird, Han Ju felt a sense of urgency again. Although the bird couldn't come down now, what if it could come down in the future, he had to hurry up and become stronger. Three years later, the matter of the divine beast Judo attacking the Jade Pure sect had been settled. Very few people in the sect talked about it, but it caused a commotion in the cultivation world. When the Judo swept up the Great Yen, the scene was very impactful. Many people saw it, there were also scouts from various sects in the Jade Pure sect. When they learned that the Judo had been insta-killed by the deity slaying elder, they were so frightened that they didn't dare to have any ill intentions. They could only try to befriend the Jade Pure sect and try not to incur any grudges, there were no demon spies in the sect. The intelligence of the scouts from the various sects was not made known to the public. Therefore, the Judo's death was a secret that the demons couldn't find out. Demon King Dian Su was very curious about where the Judo had gone. Could it be related to the Jade Pure sect? This was the first time Dian Su feared the Jade Pure sect. This sect was not simple. On this day, Li Qingzi came to visit Han Ju. He came in front of him. Before he could speak, Han Ju said, Don't look for me regarding the fortuitous encounter. I won't go. Li Qingzi coughed and said, I didn't bring good news. Han Ju frowned and opened his eyes. Li Qingzi sighed and said, The blood fire heavenly sect of Great Wei and the formless sect of Guyuan State have started a war. These two sects are huge entities, with Great Yen and the West Abyss State in the middle. Once the war begins, our two states will very likely be engulfed. Han Ju was speechless. They could fight despite being so far apart, were they so free, speaking of which, these two sects had a hidden grudge with Han Ju. It said that the prodigy of the formless sect, Dong Wang Xian, killed the son of the sect master of the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect. The Bloodfire Heavenly Sect is in a state of high morale, so how could they tolerate it? They immediately started fighting. That body integration realm guest elder has already taken the lead in attacking the formless sect. Li Qingzi's tone was filled with envy. When would the Jade Pure sect have a body integration realm mighty figure? No, he would be satisfied with more void amalgamation and soul formation realm experts, Han Ju said, it's fine. Let them fight each other. As long as they don't threaten the Jade Pure sect. If they want to destroy us along the way, you can rest assured with me around. Now, Han Ju's enemy was already the Vermilion Bird. What were the Formless Sect and the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect in comparison? In addition, an old blind man appeared in the ruins of the ancient sect we discovered previously. His abilities are unfathomable. We wanted to rope him in, but he never agreed. He's currently staying in the inner sect city. Elder Han, do you think you can help us convince him? Li Qingzi said in embarrassment, feeling a little ashamed, he wanted to poach someone, he still needed the deity slaying elder. He was indeed not capable enough, upon hearing this, Han Ju immediately checked the strongest person in the sect other than himself, Xiao Yao, ninth level of the void amalgamation realm. The number one prodigy of the heavenly immortal manor 5000 years ago. The only survivor of the ancient spiritual firmament sect. Both eyes are blinded by heavenly punishment. 1. The Pig in Journey to the West Chapter 87, 
Devil Master, Xiao Yao's Challenge. Ninth Level of the Void Amalgamation Realm, the number one prodigy of the heavenly immortal manor 5,000 years ago, the only survivor of the ancient spiritual firmament sect, both eyes were blinded by heavenly punishment, it was just one line of words, but Han Ju was like wow, even with this sort of background, he was actually not a bearer of Khanate providence, Han Ju asked, have you heard of the spiritual firmament sect? Li Qingzi replied, I've heard of it. It's said to be a large sect from 5,000 years ago. However, it offended the immortal gods and misfortune befell them from the heavens. The entire sect was annihilated. Elder Han, why are you asking about the spiritual firmament sect? Could it be that the ruins we found are from this sect? Han Ju nodded. I made some deductions. This person's name is Xiao Yao and he's from the spiritual firmament sect. Li Qingzi's eyes widened and he gasped, uh, he had never heard of Xiao Yao, but he had heard of the spiritual firmament sect, what do we do now? Abandon the ruins? Li Qingzi asked cautiously, he was afraid they would find trouble for no reason. He only hoped that the Jade Pure sect could develop peacefully. As long as the sect was given time, it would grow stronger sooner or later and become a large sect like the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect and the Formless Sect, Han Ju replied, it's up to you. If it's easy to be punished by the heavens, it should have come long ago. I think that as long as the spiritual firmament sect doesn't reappear in the world, the treasures are safe. Li Qingzi nodded. It would be difficult for him to give up the resources. After all, the elders had already divided up a lot, forget about Xiao Yao for the time being. Just continue with life. We can't force a horse to drink water, after all, Han Ju added. Li Qingzi had no objections. Hearing that Xiao Yao was from the spiritual firmament sect, his first reaction was to expel him, but on second thought, he couldn't defeat him. How could he expel him, then, Li Qingzi left, Han Ju began to use the simulation trial against Xiao Yao. Point ten seconds later, Han Ju opened his eyes and looked surprised, this fellow is something. His mystical power is too evasive, Han Ju muttered, Xiao Yao could split into tens of thousands of clones, so Han Li could not kill him immediately, he was considered powerful since he could last 10 seconds under him, Han Ju continued the simulation trial, he wanted to find a way to kill Xiao Yao, a T felt like he was looking for a strategy to kill monsters. Han Ju was happy. Point five minutes later, he finally found a way to kill Xiao Yao as soon as possible, however, as soon as the fight started, Xiao Yao used his cloning technique, after understanding his strength, Han Ju became more interested in him, such an expert joined the Jade Pure sect, he would be able to cultivate in peace, then, Han Ju opened the emails, your disciple Su Qi was captured by the Devil Master. Your disciple Su Qi spread bad luck. The fate of the Devil Master and his descendants has decreased. Your disciple Yang Tian Dong was attacked by beasts, X3872, your divine pet, the chaotic heavenly dog, was attacked by a ferocious beast. It was severely injured but managed to escape. Your good friend Zhou Fan has awakened the mystical power of his previous life. His strength has increased greatly. Your good friend Guan Yu Gang was attacked by a fiendish cultivator, X2, your divine pet, the black hell chicken, has devoured the divine beast Zhu Do. Its bloodline has transformed. It has obtained the providence of calamity. Your good friend Daoist Calm Sky was attacked by a righteous cultivator, X5823. Daoist Calm Sky came from the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect and was attacked by so many people. It looked like the war between the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect and the Formless Sect had already begun. Su Qi and Yang Tian Dong also encountered trouble. Han Ju wasn't worried about Su Qi at all. As for Yang Tian Dong, it was obvious that he had left the Great Yen. No demon in the Great Yen would dare to attack the Demon King's adopted son, the chaotic Heavenly Dog had suffered retribution. It hadn't been beaten recently, so it was likely hiding somewhere to recuperate, he hoped that it would come to its senses and return soon, Han Ju shook his head and laughed, then continued cultivating. At the second level of the body integration realm, Han Ju was no longer afraid of the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect and the Formless Sect. However, even if he was not in danger, he had to worry about the future, 
Hanju was afraid that the vermilion bird would break into the mortal world at any time. He had to hurry up and cultivate. He couldn't slack off, deep in a dark valley, Su Chi sat in a corner nervously looking at a figure in the distance, the person was surrounded by demonic chi. His face was frightening and covered in blood-colored scales. It was ghastly and terrifying. Su Chi gritted his teeth. Devil Master, I'm only a mortal. Please let me go. The Devil Master kept his eyes closed as he meditated. Su Chi was angry but didn't dare to say anything. After a while, the Devil Master said leisurely, Kid, if I wanted to kill you, you would already be dead. The fact that you're still alive means this is a fortuitous encounter for you. Just wait patiently. Fortuitous encounter, Su Chi widened his eyes and carefully said, You want to teach me your ultimate technique? He was excited. Was this a blessing in disguise, perhaps? I can't read your fate, which shows that you have extraordinary providence. Perhaps you can inherit my legacy. If I can't fulfill my wish in the future, I'll hand it to you, the devil master replied nonchalantly. Su Chi asked, What wish? Massacre the humans. Su Chi was stunned. As expected of the devil master, if that's the case, then I'll hide here and find a chance to kill him. Su Chi thought silently, he had always thought of himself as a kind person. Back then, he had joined the Jade Pure sect because he thought that it was a righteous sect. Uh, he even felt that Han Ju had sent him to hide in the Demon Taming sect because he wanted to enforce justice on behalf of the heavens. After joining it, he discovered that this sect was indeed cruel, evil, and that the heavens did not tolerate it. Su Chi took a deep breath, his eyes becoming determined. And no matter what, Master must be secretly protecting me. I can't let him down. Time passed quickly. Point ten years passed in the blink of an eye, Han Zhu was still a little short of the third level of the body integration realm. He originally planned to break through to the third level in one go before resting, but the Fusung tree started shaking again, the previous time, it had attracted the divine beast Zhu Do. What would it attract this time, Han Zhu couldn't help but tense up, this couldn't go on, what should he do, he suddenly thought of the black hell chicken, if the chicken occupied the Fusung tree, would the other beasts and divine beasts not come anymore, Han Zhu immediately instructed the black hell chicken to move to the Fusung tree, after eating the Zhu Do. The black hell chicken's cultivation had already soared to the ninth level of the soul formation realm. It was only a step away from the void amalgamation realm, this was simply cheating, however, on careful thought, it made sense. The Zhudo might be a divine beast, but the black hell chicken was a reincarnated demon saint of the upper world, after receiving the order, the black hell chicken did not resist and was even excited. It quickly flew to the Fusong tree and sat on the trunk like a rooster hatching an egg. A few days later, when the Fusong tree stopped shaking, Han Ju heaved a sigh of relief. He was about to continue cultivating when he suddenly sensed an aura. It was at the bottom of the mountain, sitting in front of the stone tablet that had formed the immortal mountain. It was the blind Xiao Yao, Han Ju thought for a moment and asked with a voice transmission, What's the matter, fellow Taoist? Xiao Yao's hair was white but his face was very young. He seemed to be in his thirties. His eyelids were black and shriveled. He was wearing a tattered Taoist robe and leaning against the stone tablet as if he was napping. Upon hearing Han Zhu's voice transmission, he stretched lazily, slowly stood up, and said, your sect master has always been inviting me to join the sect. I've stayed in the Jade Pure sect for a period of time. You're the strongest deity slaying elder, right? I don't mind joining the sect. If you can represent the Jade Pure sect to withstand a palm strike from me, I'll join you guys. Chapter 88, Seeking Refuge with the Jade Pure Sect Han Ju paused after hearing Xiao Yao's words, this was usually said by him. Now that he heard it from the other party, he felt inexplicably uncomfortable, not afraid of fighting, he sent a voice transmission, the two of us will go up to the sky and give it a go. With that said, he flew out of the Khanate cave abode and arrived above the sea of clouds, Xiao Yao appeared in front of Han Zhu, without another word, Han Zhu poured the six-path spirit energy into all the numinous treasures on his body. In an instant, a strong light burst out from his body, making him look like an immortal descending to the mortal world. 
It was dazzling, Xiao Yao was blind, but his divine sense was still there. It didn't matter if he had eyes or not, so many numinous treasures, Xiao Yao frowned. He suddenly developed an interest in the Jade Pure sect, this person definitely had a method to hide his cultivation level. He couldn't be only at the ninth level of the Foundation Establishment realm, Xiao Yao raised his palm and said, since you're wearing so many numinous treasures, I won't hold back. I'll use my full strength. How cautious, he was at the ninth level of the Void Amalgamation realm but still wanted to use his full strength. Was he sparring or killing, Hanju ridiculed him in his heart but appeared calm on the surface. He said, if I receive it, are you really willing to join the Jade Pure sect and listen to the sect master? Don't play word games. Xiao Yao said, I never go back on my word. I do need a place to stay. The Jade Pure sect has given me a good impression. Han Ju nodded and waited for him to strike. Xiao Yao raised his right hand, and the wind above the sea of clouds stopped. A murderous aura filled the air, although Xiao Yao was blind, he clearly felt that Han Ju was fearless. Xiao Yao really intended to hit with all his might. He suddenly waved his palm and hit Han Ju's chest, boom the sea of clouds beneath their feet scattered. Xiao Yao was startled. He felt a strong rebound of spirit energy, caught off guard, he was forced back. At the second level of the body integration realm, Han Ju couldn't possibly lose to Xiao Yao, who was at the ninth level of the void amalgamation realm, in order to give him an opening gambit, Han Ju deliberately used all his strength. As Xiao Yao retreated, his blood surged and he couldn't help spitting out a mouthful of blood, shocked, Xiao Yao gritted his teeth. Body Integration Realm Unexpectedly, there was actually a Body Integration Realm Cultivator hidden in the sect which had a nascent Soul Realm Cultivator as its sect master, he had thought that the strongest cultivator in the Jade Pure sect was only at the Soul Formation Realm. And a weak one at that a sect that did not even have a void amalgamation realm cultivator actually had a body integration realm cultivator hiding within it. Xiao Yao steadied himself and took a deep breath. From now on, I'm a member of the Jade Pure sect. Xiao Yao has a good impression of you. Current favorability, one star. He has a good impression of me already, it seemed that this person was quite tactful, satisfied, Han Ju said. Don't tell anyone about my cultivation. Xiao Ye was surprised. The sect doesn't know? Yes. With my cultivation level, it would be too weird for me to stay in the sect. I'm also worried that the sect will cause trouble. Other than longevity, I have no desires, so I've been cultivating diligently, Han Ju explained, Xiao Yao couldn't help but think highly of him, that's all. Go find the sect master. He will arrange a position for you. Han Ju smiled, with that, he vanished Xiao Yao remained in the air and thought for a long time. He then sighed and flew towards the sect's main peak, when he returned to the entrance of the cave abode, the Fusong tree's black hell chicken called out, Master, why didn't you teach him a lesson? He's too arrogant. Shouldn't you strike back with your sword? Soon Chang'an's cultivation was inferior to the chicken, so he didn't know what had just happened, Han Ju glanced at the black hell chicken and said, I'll give you a strike. Do you dare to take it? This chicken is a little too arrogant now. No, I have to suppress it. I have to maintain its image. The cautious chicken cannot lose its way. The black hell chicken shook its head in fear. Han Ju turned to look at the chicken and said with a voice transmission, this person is hated by the immortal gods. Do you see his eyes? That's the outcome of the immortal god's curse. The black hell chicken's eyes widened, immortal god's curse, it's just so dangerous outside. Don't get too arrogant. You ate the Zhu Do. Do you know where it came from? It's the son of the divine beast, the vermilion bird. That being from the upper world has already set its eyes on you. You have to work hard to cultivate and become stronger so as to prevent the vermilion bird from taking revenge. I've deduced that it already hates you and me, so I have to cultivate in seclusion. Han Ju continued to transmit his voice. This time, the black hell chicken was completely terrified, vermilion bird, gasp, the black hell chicken suddenly felt nauseous, but even if it wanted to vomit, 
it could not, Hanju was satisfied when he saw its reaction, he returned to the Khanate cave abode and began cultivating, Sun Chang'an was baffled to see the black hell chicken trembling, the next day, the Jade Pure sect announced a new elder, an elder at the Void Amalgamation Realm, the entire sect was excited, this was a realm that only the founder had reached, Xiao Yao's name spread throughout the sect, apart from being happy, Li Qingzi was even more respectful towards Han Zhu, Xiao Yao was not Han Zhu's match even though he was so strong. Most importantly, there was no movement in their fight, what did that mean? It meant that Han Zhu was far stronger than Xiao Yao, so the sparring didn't last long, Elder Han was the true pillar of the sect. With this in mind, Li Qingzi immediately met with the elders and informed them one by one to not ignore Han Zhu because they wanted to curry favor with Xiao Yao, Han Zhu's demand was still the top priority of the Jade Pure Sect. Nobody could afford to be negligent, five years passed very quickly. But the Great Yen was in turmoil, the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect of Great Wei bypassed the Great Yen and attacked the formless sect of Guyuan State. Both were super sects with deep foundations, before the unification of the Great Wei, the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect had been extremely powerful, causing the surrounding cultivation world to tremble in fear, however, when the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect faced the Formless Sect, the battle situation made everyone's jaws drop, the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect had been completely demolished by the Formless Sect. Their body integration realm guest was severely injured and was hiding somewhere to recuperate meanwhile, the Formless Sect advanced toward the Great Way. They came in menacingly and wanted to destroy the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect, all the sects of the cultivation world were trembling, the battle between the two colossi affected many sections truly, the fight between the big shots implicated the small fishes, inside the bloodfire heavenly sect, Daoist Calm Sky and sect master Lu Bummy were talking in a pavilion, Lu Bummy's face was pale. Facing the powerful formless sect, he, the sect master, could not hold on much longer, the bloodfire heavenly sect was destroyed, how would he answer to his ancestors, Daoist Calm Sky sighed and said, even that guest elder escaped. We can't defeat the formless sect. Lu Bummy gritted his teeth. Then, what should we do? We're already mortal enemies. Surrendering is not an option. The Bloodfire Heavenly Sect had become a joke in the cultivation world. After all, they had been so arrogant before, Daoist Calm Sky's eyes flickered. Actually, we can submit to other sections. As long as we can guarantee the preservation of our own legacy, it's not strange for us to be a subsidiary force in the cultivation world. I've thought about it, but the sects around the Great Way are even weaker than our Bloodfire Heavenly Sect. The powerful sects that can contend against the Formless Sect are too far away from us. The more Lu Bummy spoke, the more miserable his expression became, even the heavens wanted the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect to perish, we can seek refuge with the Jade Pure Sect. Daoist Calm Sky narrowed his eyes. Chapter 89, Divinity Awakens, Encountering Another Bearer of Providence Five years after Xiao Yao became an elder of the Jade Pure Sect, Han Zhu finally broke through to the third level of the body integration realm, he walked out of the cave abode and came to the Fusong tree to stretch his muscles, Sun Chang'an and the Black Hell Chicken were cultivating. The Fusong tree and the Earth Immortal Gourd were both growing quite well. With their help, the spirit qi of the cultivate diligently become a mortal mountain kept increasing steadily, Han Zhu was satisfied. It was indeed a divine tree. Its vitality was much stronger than other treasures, ever since the Black Hell Chicken occupied the Fusong tree, it had not swayed under the night sky. Not to mention divine beasts, even ordinary beasts had not been summoned out of habit, Han Zhu opened his interpersonal relationships to check his emails, your pet, the chaotic heavenly dog, was attacked by beasts, x5877, your pet, the chaotic heavenly dog, was severely injured and was on the brink of death. It was saved by a powerful demon and barely escaped death. Your disciple Yang Tiandong was cultivating in seclusion. He has comprehended the demonic Tao and his cultivation has increased greatly. Your good friend Zhou Fan was attacked by a righteous cultivator, X3119, your good friend Imo Fuzhou was attacked by a righteous cultivator, X3028, your good friend Fairy Shixian obtained a fortuitous encounter and her providence has increased. 
Your good friend Xiao Yao is suffering from the curse of the immortal gods, X5. Your disciple Su Qi cultivated a demonic technique. His divinity is awakening. Han Zhu was speechless, really? What was the chaotic heavenly dog doing? He had been beaten up again. He had only just recovered from his severe injuries and was severely injured again. Fortunately, he was a divine beast of providence. If it were anyone else, they would have long died died Mo Fuzhou and Zhou Fan should still be together. The number of times they had been beaten was very close. Based on Han Zhu and Zhou Fan's understanding, the one who had caused trouble was definitely Zhou Fan, famous people were always unwilling to be ordinary. Perhaps this was fate, Han Zhu noticed that Fairy Shixian had obtained another fortuitous encounter, in the past few decades, Fairy Shixian had been training outside. Her cultivation level had also been increasing and there was hope of her breaking through to the soul formation realm. As the Jade Pure sect grew stronger, most of the elders' cultivation levels began to increase. This was a good thing, Xiao Yao was cursed by the immortal gods once a year. What was wrong with him, Han Zhu was suddenly worried. Would Xiao Yao bring trouble to the Jade Pure sect, as for Su Qi, his divinity had just begun to awaken, his bad luck was already terrifying enough. How exaggerated would it be after awakening, Han Zhu suddenly felt that it was the right thing to send Su Qi away. If he stayed in the Jade Pure sect for too long, he would harm it sooner or later, but speaking of which, Su Qi's life was actually quite tragic. The people around him would always die because of him, and he didn't know his previous life's identity. It was very likely that he felt the heavens were targeting him, Han Zhu suspected the intentions of the heavenly court that wanted him to descend to the mortal world, on second thought, with a calamity divine beast like the Zhudo in the mortal world, it wasn't surprising even if a jinx appeared, T was precisely because of existences like the Zhudo and the jinx that extremists like Thanos did not appear. Perhaps this was the deeper meaning of the heavenly court, Han Zhu guessed, immediately, he took out the Book of Misfortune and began to curse enlightened old monster and the vermilion bird. He took turns cursing them for five days at at the same time, on the main peak, Li Qingzi, the Grand Elder, Xiao Yao, and the other elders gathered in the hall, they all looked at someone. This person was from the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect. His name was Perfected Yen Lin. He was a void amalgamation realm cultivator and was an elder, Perfected Yen Lin was secretly puzzled, so weak, apart from Xiao Yao, everyone else was no threat to him, didn't understand why the sect master wanted to go under the Jade Pure sect. Even so, he still spoke honestly, the Bloodfire Heavenly sect was already at the edge of the cliff, they could only try their best, after he finished speaking, everyone looked at each other. Clearly, they did not expect the Bloodfire Heavenly sect to want to join the Jade Pure sect. Li Qingzi frowned and said, your sect and the formless sect are in a huge battle. The Jade Pure sect doesn't want to be involved in trouble. He didn't have a good impression of the Bloodfire Heavenly sect. In his opinion, they wanted to drag his sect down with them, our sect master said that if the Jade Pure sect agrees, the Bloodfire Heavenly sect can even directly join you and become the 19th peak of the Jade Pure sect. Li Qingzi couldn't help but look at the Grand Elder. The master and disciple looked at each other and saw temptation in each other's expressions, after the Bloodfire Heavenly sect swallowed the Great Way, their foundation was already very strong. If the Jade Pure sect could swallow them, they would definitely soar. Li Qingzi stood up and said, you guys chat first. I'll go out for a while. With that, he flew out of the hall, the elders all understood where he was going. He was definitely going to find the deity slaying elder, Xiao Yao suddenly took a step forward and said, I don't know much about the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect. You and I are both elders. Why don't we spar and learn each other's strength? Perfected Yen Lin narrowed his eyes. All right. He was also very unconvinced and felt that the Jade Pure Sect was not worthy of the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect seeking refuge under them. Li Qingzi found Han Zhu and explained the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect's purpose, Elder Han, what do you think? Li Qingzi asked, Han Zhu frowned as he thought of the Formless Sect, accepting the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect would definitely offend the Formless Sect. However, 
The formless sect sect master, enlightened old monster, was his enemy, so he was not afraid of offending him, enlightened old monster was at the seventh level of the body integration realm. At the third level of body integration realm, Han Ju was definitely not afraid of him, however, enlightened old monster was not alone, are you confident in resisting the formless sect? Han Ju asked Dot L. I. Ching Zi side and said, the formless sect also seems to be targeting us. Their disciples have already entered the Great Yin. The various righteous sects of the Great Yin have also sent us letters asking for help. Han Ju raised his eyebrows, was enlightened old monster coming after him, boom, an earth-shattering sound came from outside. Han Ju scanned with his divine sense. It was Xiao Yao and perfected Yen Lin fighting, Xiao Yao was at the ninth level of the void amalgamation realm, so perfected Yen Lin was no match for him. Han Ju said calmly, in other words, we actually don't have a choice. Even if we reject the blood fire heavenly sect, the formless sect can still overturn the cultivation world of the great Yin? Li Qingzi nodded helplessly, Han Ju said in a low voice, how about this? When perfected Yen Lin loses, tell him to go back and ask his sect master and Taoist Calm Sky to come personally. Li Qingzi was pleasantly surprised that Elder Han was going to make a move, they wanted to annex the Bloodfire Heavenly Sect, they had to suppress them completely. After all, the difference in strength between the two sides was too great. Even if they were to unite, the Jade Pure Sect might not be able to hold them down in the future, Li Qingzi left immediately. The battle between Xiao Yao and perfected Yen Lin lasted for five minutes, which was an eye-opener for the disciples of the Jade Pure Sect, Elder Xiao was so powerful, when Xiao Yao used his 10,000 clones, there was no longer any suspense in the battle. Perfected Yen Lin was completely suppressed. Li Qingzi told Perfected Yen Lin what Han Ju said and he quickly left. Inside the Khanate cave abode, Han Ju touched his chin and muttered, No, since I can't do the simulation with Enlightened Old Monster, I don't know his strength. What if he has a special secret technique or mystical power? Once the battle started, Han Ju had to kill enlightened old monster and not let him escape like Daoist, Calm Sky, Han Ju thought of his six paths insignia, in the future, should he leave the six paths insignia on the enemy first, this way, no matter where the other party fled, Han Ju would be able to catch him, in this case, Han Ju would have to strengthen the heaven earth mystic yellow world piercing sword finger to the extreme. At that time, he would directly shoot at the enemy from his. Cultivate diligently become a mortal mountain, just as Han Ju was thinking, a line of words suddenly appeared in front of him, detected bearer of Khanate Providence, checking its origin. Chapter 90, Profound Truth Divine Emperor, The Golden Age of a Single Person Khanate Providence? Han Ju was stunned, it had been a long time since he met a new Khanate Providence bearer, immediately chose to check, Murong Chi, fourth level of the Golden Core Realm, reincarnated war god of the upper realm divine palace. His title is profound truth divine emperor. He was attacked by the immortal emperors of the demon race. His physical body was destroyed. His soul entered the cycle of reincarnation and came to the mortal world. In the cycle of reincarnation, his soul slowly recovered. Due to the providence of the divine emperor, even as a mortal, his talent was unparalleled. Unconsciously, he was attracted by the ancient spiritual ginseng and came to the Jade Pure Sect. Han Ju was stunned, Divine Palace War God, Profound Truth Divine Emperor, what level was the Divine Palace, how was it compared to the Heavenly Court, Han Ju suddenly felt that the Upper Realm was different from what he imagined. It seemed the Heavenly Court wasn't the sole dominant force. There might be many powerful factions, and their relationships were very deep, Heavenly Court, Divine Palace, Buddha, these were the ones he knew of, on second thought, it made sense. If not for him being able to detect the Khanate Providence, he probably wouldn't have noticed these incredible existences, and novels, the protagonist would also encounter various geniuses, but he wouldn't be able to see through their origins, although Murong Chi was the reincarnation of profound truth divine emperor, if he was killed in this life, it wouldn't affect him much. Even if he regained his identity as profound truth divine emperor, he wouldn't seek revenge, God knew how many times Morong Chi had reincarnated. Just like Sun Chang'an, 
who was already at the 39th reincarnation, when he ascended to the upper realm in the future, he couldn't possibly take revenge on his enemies from every lifetime, each lifetime had its own enemies and grudges. The ancient spiritual Jinseng, who was the current Sun Chang'an, had attracted the attention of profound truth divine emperor. Would he attract other people with powerful backgrounds in the future, Sun Chang'an wasn't Zhu Beiji, but simply Tang Seng, one, himself, Han Zhu used his divine sense to search for him, Morong Qi and a group of cultivators were flying towards the Jade Pure sect. The leader was Guan Yu Gang, these cultivators were not wearing the Taoist robes of the Jade Pure sect. They had probably just been recruited, Han Zhu's attention landed on Morong Qi, looking youthful, he looked to be only 15 or 16 years old. He had probably taken the youth retaining pill earlier, Han Zhu didn't think too much about it. Even if Morong Qi wanted to eat the ancient spiritual ginseng, he wouldn't succeed as a golden core cultivator, besides, Sun Chang'an was so ugly, who would have the appetite to eat him? Han Zhu started to think hard about how to make the Heaven Earth Mystic Yellow World Piercing Sword Finger stronger. As he passed by the cultivate diligently become a mortal mountain, Morong Qi suddenly asked, Is this mountain also from the Jade Pure Sect? The others were also watching because the spirit chi in this mountain was extremely abundant, yes, this is the Jade Pure Sect's deity slaying Elder's Mountain. In the future, you are not allowed to trespass. Otherwise, you will be expelled from the sect. Guan Yu Gang nodded. He looked at the immortal mountain with reverence, it's here. What I seek must be on this mountain, Morong Chi thought silently, since birth, he had an extraordinary intuition that could help him find many fortuitous encounters, had been to the outer sect of the Jade Pure sect before. Now, the sect was famous in Great Yen. He didn't dare to barge in. So he found the place where the sect specially recruited individual cultivators and signed up to join, is deity slaying elder accepting disciples? Morong Chi asked, Guan Yugang snorted. Well, yes, but we can't disturb him. Previously, a monk knelt on the mountain for five years before succeeding. The itinerant cultivators were shocked upon hearing this, kneel for five years, such determination. Morong Chi took this matter to heart, the group moved around the cultivate diligently become a mortal mountain and flew to the main peak, under the Fusong tree, Sun Chang'an suddenly opened his eyes. He patted his chest, secretly puzzled, why do I feel uneasy, this was the first time he felt this way. Was he possessed, Sun Chang'an couldn't help but become nervous. He checked his cultivation technique to see if he had practiced it wrong, two months later, the sky was filled with purple light again, shocking the world, again, that's right, with his top-notch sword Dao comprehension, Hanju entered the sword Dao river again. The world also produced strange phenomena, the heaven-earth mystic yellow world piercing sword finger, although a finger technique, was essentially a sword technique. It was very similar to the unparalleled finger divine sword. Using the finger as a sword, it shot out Sword Chida, he came to the Sword Dao River again and looked at the figures that he had surpassed one by one. Han Zhu wasn't surprised, but rather nervous, would he encounter that mysterious existence again, not able to control his consciousness, Han Zhu could only watch, the Sword Dao River was bright. Han Zhu vaguely saw some memories of the sword cultivators, but they flashed past and he didn't see them clearly, after a while, a figure in front suddenly stopped, Han Zhu's heart skipped a beat, IT was the same guy again, doesn't he cultivate? Is he always guarding the sword Dao River, the figure was covered in sword light, making it difficult to see his true appearance. He turned to look at Han Zhu and said, it's you again. Han Zhu said carefully, I'm already at the Grand Unity area? I didn't mean to offend you, but I can't stop myself. Help me stop. Just don't hurt me. The mysterious sword cultivator was silent that an invisible force made him unable to move forward, Han Zhu waited nervously, strange, you don't have an illustrious identity from your previous life. How can you have such sword Dao comprehension? The mysterious sword cultivator asked in surprise, Han Zhu answered, everything has a beginning. Perhaps I will become someone's illustrious past life identity in the future. The mysterious sword cultivator did not reply. Point three breaths later, the mysterious sword cultivator waved his hand and said, The profundity of grand unity is not something that ordinary people can touch. 
Be careful not to suffer a backlash. Go back. Boom, Hanju felt dizzy. He opened his eyes again and saw that he had returned to the Khanate cave abode. Hanju touched his chin as he wondered. Why did he keep meeting that fellow? Did he have nothing to do all day? Hanju began the simulation trial and raised Xiao Yao's cultivation level to the third level of the body integration realm. With the enhanced Heaven Earth Mystic Yellow World Piercing Sword Finger, Hanju instantly killed him. What a pity, Xiao Yao was still a little weak. Hanju suddenly wished that a ninth stage body integration realm cultivator could sneak into the Jade Pure Sect. Only then could he verify how powerful his Heaven Earth Mystic Yellow World Piercing Sword Finger was. At at the same time, the phenomenon in the sky disappeared, however, the discussions of the cultivation world and dynasties did not stop. In the cultivation world, even powerful cultivators of the older generation stood up and said that a golden age of geniuses was coming. This was the third heavenly phenomenon so far, in the eyes of the cultivators, it was impossible for all three times to be because of the same person. As a result, Hanju alone set off a golden age of geniuses and elites, Hanju quickly entered cultivation. A year later, Someone appeared in front of the cultivate, diligently become a mortal mountain and knelt in front of the stone tablet. He was none other than the reincarnation of profound truth divine emperor, Murong Chi. After staying in the Jade Pure Sect for a year, Murong Chi had not thought of a way to ascend the cultivate, diligently become a mortal mountain. However, every time he looked at it, his heart would throb. It caused him to have a strong urge to go up the mountain. In the end, he decided to follow Guan Yogang's method to become a disciple, he had to sneak into the cultivate diligently become a mortal mountain first, Morong Chi knelt in front of the stone tablet and began to kowtow, Hanju was focused on cultivation and didn't notice him, Sun Chang'an noticed him very quickly. After all, Morong Chi had followed his example, after Morong Chi knelt for a month, Sun Chang'an descended the mountain and stood in the array formation, smiling at him, this person looks pretty good, Sun Chang'an silently thought. As Morong Chi kowtowed, he noticed Sun Chang'an's arrival. He frowned and thought, This person is so ugly. Sun Chang'an's ugliness made Morong Chi feel a little nauseous. However, for some reason, he felt that it was this person who attracted him. The two feelings intertwined in Morong Chi's heart, creating strange sparks. Could this person be the deity slaying elder? Wasn't the deity slaying elder supposed to be good looking? He will bring me great opportunities, suppressing the discomfort in his heart, Morong Chi gritted his teeth and said, Senior, please accept me as your disciple. 1. In journey to the west, all the demons want to eat Tang Sang, the monk master, for immortality.